Hello there, the Fabled Harpooner here, ready for another Double Jeopardy hunt, in which I hunt two high rank Alshurus, this time with the uh, Lance Weapon class and an uh, upgrade to the Pledges. Pledges, Pledges. Not entirely sure how you read that. Gonna pronounce it as Pledges Needle, for the time being. It's an upgrade I could have done ages ago, really. Pretty much the last item you require or you need to acquire is the Dragonite Ore from the Volcano. The rest are relatively easy to get early on. Buying shrooms are you need to trade them with Argosy for. Is it just regular uh, trades or I think it's. Uh, don't know what it's called now. The advanced trades basically. Stats wise, was a nice look, but it's the same look as the basic one. It's a nice increase in raw damage, adds green sharpness, a lot of it, quite. I mean, uh, quite a nice amount of it for a lance. And increases the paralysis damage, which again is really nice. Because it's a status weapon, and I'm pretty much going to forge it now. And the next one is. Not available yet. I'm using the Royal Lordroth, not the Royal Lordroth, the Purple Lordroth armor set. The Lordroth U type armor. Status attack to boost the status damage, paralysis. Speed gather and sharp now as usual, always jumped in. Math and run out. I don't believe this helps with the blocking, it's only when dashing. It's okay, I suppose, to some degree, but not that critical for a Lancer. Negate Hunter, Hunger is nice. And uh, again, versus the Azuros, a negative thunder resistance is not of uh, any importance. In fact, what's my total elemental resistance chart? Not that it matters, none of it is really critical versus the Arzuros, as I've already said. Now for meals, I could go for this one to get full health boost and some defense boost as well. I'm not particularly bothered with the extra elemental resistance. Balancer, uh, Slugger, Reflector, Charisma. Doing nice to try and get the status specialist one. But it's not an option so far. Nope, nothing here either. Deflector. Maybe, not so much. Still have a plenty of sharpness, green sharpness. So I don't think deflector is that important here. So I might just go for the health boost, if not for anything else. Slagger? Well, I can shield bash now and then. But unless I do it really often, it's not really going to achieve any knockouts. Actually, Balancer seems to be a good choice for the Lance. If it's what I've figured out, or read about it, it pretty much uh, reduces the trips you get from certain hits both friend from friendly strikes and hostile ones. So I'm going to take it. Didn't really need to add better descriptions because prevents you from falling down is not really descriptive. Anyway. Double Jeopardy, two Azuros hunts, or hunt two Azuros. I find that name to be hard to pronounce. I think I prefer Awashira, the original, original Japanese name for this monster. Okay, we started quite near, next to the area that we need to go to.
And that was almost a bad toss. It looks like the big one. Looks like it. But the other one looks even larger. Must have been the distance. Oh, nice. Double hit from that little bomb. Did they both drop a shiny? Must have been from the bomb, I suppose. Yeah, why not? I'm going to gather the shinies while they're here. Nice to get extra pelts. Okay, this time they seem to have relatively similar sizes, at least visually. Although, I'm actually quite bad at telling the size difference between monsters most of the time. I don't want to uh, hit the other one, this one's paralysed. Okay, they both pretty much enraged. Managed to dash through that attack and can proceed to smack this bat. Ooh! Didn't read the attack in time. Not reading the attacks is a bit of a problem when you want to counter. Okay, completely missed me. That one is leaving and I might as well paint this guy. Wait, did I paint again the same one that just ran away? No. Oh, I can't even... Basically I paintballed the same one that I painted at the beginning. Ooh. Ooh, what? Ah, need to read those bat attacks faster so I can counter them properly. Oh boy. Ow, there we go. There's the effect of a balancer. That attack should have tripped me a bit, but instead just uh, did damage and knocked me out of the dazed stance. So pretty much, uh, oh boy, bad timing here. Did I bring any down? No, it's going to shake me. Whoa, out, what? What did... I didn't quite catch what happened there. It was about to shake me, but something interrupted it and I was flung somewhere else. Okay, one of them looks tired. Jaggers are being a bit of a pest. Okay, we got another paralysis. Okay, the bigger one looks exhausted, the smaller one is wounded. Again, this time it looks like uh, the size difference is not that large. Okay, nice trip in time. I was going to get ready to at least try and block the swiping attack. Yes. I think I, I, I can't say it probably. I took longer and I was going to get hit anyway. Like most of the times, not reading the attacks in time. Oh, that's the kill. Quick car for some pelts. Oh, lots of pelts, really. And oh, we don't have to go there. Can I counter? Yes, but missed. 
back. Oh. Trying to recover after shield bash is a bit slow. Can I counter here? It will push it in. Counter. Who do damage? I said the shotgun just lasts it for quite a bit. Might need to do it again. This bear should be close to death as well. Okay, that might have been a bit dangerous of me to try to counter the swiping attack. Well, I hope to have. I hoped to back off far enough from that explosion, but didn't. Versus the other one, she don't really need any type of guard boost. Seems that most of the attacks will trigger a counter, a quick counter, without any troubles. Oh boy, those bombs. Like they do damage, but they just send you flying all over the place. Okay, it seems to be easy to counter one of the strikes. To the point where you don't really need to concern yourself about getting hit by the next ones. That's the position you're on left. In is not really exposed to the attack. I think I should stop using the bash. The advantage with the bash follow up. Doesn't seem to be really effective. Okay, the hag attack is the heaviest of his attacks. And the bomb killed it just before I stabbed it. Or tried to reach it with a stab. I think the first one died the same way. Well, that's all the cards, that's in time. 42 minutes remaining and some seconds, 36. An okay time for the time being. Quite easy to pull off a paralysis with this lance. Quirky looking lance. Some more from there. Might as well return to the waterfall area. Hopefully mine the other rock there once or twice. If I'm fast enough. Once. Well there you go, speed together helping out with the extra items. Rewards, let's see. Oh did I only manage to break one of the braces? Okay, getting paralysis, but not the brakes. Anyway, we've got carapaces for all rewards, more braces, armor spheres, those are good. Pouts, stout, bo stout bones, more braces, some honey, and the usual carapaces, braces, and a lot. Large beast here. 1800. How much is the actual quest? 4600. Of the total, yeah, it's a good amount from just the large gem. It seems that this quest guarantees a silver large Azuros. Because each time I think I've gotten one, but since I already had one from before, it's not really updating anything. So, this has been the favourite of Puna and Team 2 Azuros, high rank Azuros, in the Double Jeopardy high rank quest, with the Lance weapon, cl weapon class and the Pledges Needle Plus as the weapon of choice. Hope you enjoyed the video, see you next time, and good hunting.